Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this gear. This is HP Office Jet 8012A. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi tax triple in one if you like in the sense you can copy scan and print from this gear i'm going to give you an overview of this printer then show you step by step how to connect this printer to wi-fi network this printer is dual band you can connect it via wi-fi network and usb cable connection unfortunately usb cable is not included in the packaging we have it at vinyl tech store free delivery here in uk but before we do anything let me give you a bit of information about this printer this sticker here is the serial number for this printer in case if you need to contact hp service this is the power cable three pin power cable is included in the packaging just above the power cable we have the usb cable here is what it looks like it's universal canon can use it epson can use it brothers can use it it goes in here and this flat end goes to the back of your pc unfortunately it's not included in the packaging Okay, we have it at Vinyl Tech Store. Here is the automatic document for that this printer is with ADF. The essence of ADF, you scan multiple pages of document in one go. Okay, you copy and scan multiple pages of one go. Multiple pages of document in one go. But you need to select the, the ADF for you to be able to scan. Here is the scanner, flat bell scanner. You load particular document on ID or ID card you want to copy and scan. On top of this scanner and select the function from LCD screen it will do the job this blue light signify that Wi-Fi you can see a blue light flashing here is not signify that Wi-Fi is not yet connected you switch it printer on and off from right here if you open up this printer this way lift it up the ink cartridge holder will come right in the middle for you to change it it's using ink cartridge 912 and it does this automatically if you have any paper jam this is where to check at the back okay for any paper jam and debris and gently remove it if you can't find anything inside here close the printer down lift it up but before you do that make sure you remove the cover okay and also bring out the paper tray you bring out the paper tray then you check for any paper jam and debris right here as well okay so this is also where to check for any paper jam but before you do that you need to make sure you remove all the papers and and open up the paper tray okay so this is the paper tray you can load various sizes of paper a4 paper four by six various size if you want to extend this you need to press down okay and extend the lever likewise if you want to bring it inside completely you need to press this down okay and bring it inside you can see now use the cover go in and use the cover to cover it okay now what this is, so this is the basic overview for what we need to do is show you step by step to connect this printer to wi-fi network so that this blue light will stop flashing okay and to do this i need us us to get your mobile device okay and once you get your mobile device so go to make sure the house rule you need to do is make sure your mobile phone is connected this to the same network as okay your printer okay so we're going to connect this printer right now just checking make sure the mobile phone the wi-fi is on on my phone and also uh, mobile device you, you cancel mobile device data sometimes it interferes with the connection okay so that you know that what you are using is wi-fi network now the next thing to do is go to play store once you you make sure the wi-fi is connected on your phone go to play store type hp smart app okay hp smart app is already downloaded on my phone so download it on your mobile phone click it open and once you click it open the next thing you need to do you just need to wait for the smart app to be ready so it's getting ready now the next thing we need to do we need to you can see a bell and a plus sign okay on top just by hp smart app see you can see a bell okay and the plus sign. click on the plus sign okay when you click on the plus sign it gives you choose the type of printer you want to set up choose a type of printer to add to hp smart app set up a new printer 
okay and connect a new print set up and connect a new printer and start pr printing or you add a printer that is already added so what you want to do is to set up a new printer so click get started so you click get started now it's also how do you want to connect this printer so you choose the option of wi-fi or ethan cable this is the reason why some sometimes people ask me can you connect wi-fi and ethan cable at the same time no okay because it, 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 it will not know which one to check to take okay so you need to select either wi-fi or ethan cable so we select wi-fi network once you select wi-fi click continue now it will tell you get printer re ready to connect to wi-fi network place the printer on the flat surface then plug it on connect your mobile device to wi-fi network turn on nearby device permission location precise location bluetooth on on your device allow access when prompted hp smart app require this permission okay to connect your printer but your location will not be sent to hp so once you've done that click continue and here we go once you click continue it will find the printer if everything goes well you pick up the signal it will pick up this printer okay and right now we can see this printer right now is picked up from this phone so click on it here is the printer what we need to do right now is type the wi-fi net details for this printer then we we'll go from there sometimes people ask me how do you get the wi-fi details i have the information here from my office wi-fi network so you get the wi-fi password from your mobile provider okay from your network the same wi-fi you are using to your mobile phone is what is what you're going to use so what i need to do right now is put is to put the details okay and you need to make sure that the information you are putting is correct otherwise it will not correct it won't connect connect okay Okay, once the information you put, okay, the next thing you need to do is click enter. Okay, click continue. Now I will ask you to turn the Bluetooth on. Click continue. Once you click continue, it will ask you allow HP to enable Bluetooth. Click allow. Right now it's turning the Bluetooth on. Okay, and once it's done, it's finding the printer. It's next on the list. Right now it's finding the printer. And the printer is found okay the next thing now is is preparing the printer and I want you to make sure, see that a blue light is flashing here okay it's still flashing now it's asking us from the app it's telling us right now an app is attempting to set the printer you need to make sure allow so click allow on your on your printer okay click allow okay and right now is preparing the printer once you, the next is do, going to do is stop then IP address. Here we got printer prepared. So right now this printer is actually connected to Wi-Fi network because this blue light is now steady on. If you look over here, you see that the blue light is steady on. But you need to wait for this to be completed on your mobile device. Okay, so right now is obtaining IP address. Here we go. Printer is connected to Wi-Fi network. You can see printer is connected so once once you look over here i'm going to bring the camera close for you to see okay so if you look over here you will see that the blue light is now steady on and they can also on your mobile phone you will see that the printer is connected to wi-fi network it will show you this is the printer okay printer connected so and the steady blue light is here it's no longer flashing this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network but we need to follow the same pattern and finish the connection so on your mobile device click continue now it's connecting to hp service as it's as it's, as it's connecting to the hp service you need to make sure that you, you wait for the instruction so right now it's checking the printer status now accept all terms and condition click accept this is hp smart app 
nice axinos this is the where you activate hp okay hp activate hp plus okay S smart printing capability basically this is where you activate because this is tutorial so i'm going to skip it so I'm, do not activate are you sure yes it will tell it's telling us now if you decline hp plus you will miss out six months instant ink and additional one year hp warranty i'm going to decline it because this is tutorial but i will encourage you to do this on your own printer that then the next thing is about printer dynamic security mode so click continue so click continue okay right now it's registering this printer Now it's telling us welcome to your HP account. Okay, so finishing setup. Use your HP account to enroll in instantink.com. So we just need to wait. Please wait. Now I'm going to skip. Do not enable ink delivery. Okay, I'm going to do not enable ink delivery. So skip the offer. now allow auto auto update recommend the click apply here we go setup complete let's print so if you want to print out document right now you just go ahead but i'm going to skip printing page now if you want to print from other device you can send the link but not right now here we go so right now this printer is right here the, the next thing i'm going to show you on my next video is how to load the paper tray and also print the alignment page okay at, at the moment you can see this printer is right here in the middle this is the printer but it's asking us right now the paper tray is empty close the paper tray so we need to load the paper and also also showing us alignment recommended this is what i'm, I'm going to show you on my next video if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it helps the channel this is how to connect this printer to a wi-fi network thank you and stay blessed